Just last month, Terko Mala, the Egyptian minister of oil, made a significant announcement. He revealed that in the northeastern Mediterranean, Egypt had discovered a sizable gas field. The Middle East Economic Survey estimates that the field has 3.5 trillion cubic feet of gas. However, they added that these projections were still being polished. Four offshore exploration blocks, including Nargis, where the discovery was made, have operational interests held by Chevron and Egypt's Tharwa Petroleum Company. In this video, we will discuss Egypt just announced its new massive gas discovery that will change the entire oil and gas industry. But before that, please like, subscribe, and click the bell button for the latest economic updates. Now let's get started. Let's start by discussing Egypt's energy production and supply. You see, in recent years, Egypt's power plants have consumed unprecedented quantities of the carbon-dense mazut oil fuel. Furthermore, it was clear from the statistics provided by the authority overseeing the electrical sector that it is currently working to increase the amount of natural gas available for export. Egypt can produce power more affordably by switching to Mazat, which is primarily produced in Russia. In addition, it would make it possible for the country to export more gas, which would help with the urgent foreign currency shortage. The percentage of inputs used in total power generation from Mazar reached 20.95% in October, according to the Egyptian Electricity and Consumer Protection Regulatory Agency. And that proportion has not changed since September 2017, when Mazat accounted for 22.82% of the total. Only daily fuel use information for the month has been made available by the agency. But the information shows that since late 2021, things have been getting better. A power reduction policy was also implemented by the Egyptian government in August. Later on, it made a commitment to describe the ideal Mazat consumption for power plants. Now, according to the Joint Organization's Data Initiative, Egypt's fuel oil consumption reached a record high of 135,000 barrels per day in September, which is the country's highest level in the previous four years. There was a notable increase in fuel oil supplies from Russia to Egypt this year, according to Refinitiv Freight data from April 2015. It reached a record-breaking high of 2.17 million barrels in June. Eugene Lindell, the head of refined goods for energy consultant FGE, stated that the savings were huge for anyone outside of Europe who could buy cheap Russian gasoline. Additionally, due to the conflict in Ukraine, the West no longer purchases energy from Russia. As Europe transitions away from Russian supplies, it is also looking for substitute sources, such as Egypt. High sulfur fuel oil is allegedly four times more economical than TTF natural gas, according to Linda. Although this is now the norm in Europe, the environment pays a high price for it. Yasmine Fouad, Egypt's environment minister, told reporters that she was unable to comment on the situation because she did not know how much waste had been burned. However, she cited agreements Egypt made at the COP27 climate talks last month to increase renewable energy as proof. New gas discovery therefore. The discovery of this new gas field may aid Egypt's efforts to establish itself as a significant energy hub in the eastern Mediterranean. This comes after Italian energy company Eni's discovery of the sizable Zohar gas field in 2015. Due to the consequences of the Russia-Ukraine conflict and the coronavirus outbreak that preceded it, the Egyptian economy was already experiencing difficulties at the time of this discovery. The second largest gas producer in North Africa is Egypt, trailing only Algeria. Additionally, according to information from BP's Statistical Review of Energy 2022, it accounts for about 1.7% of the world's proven reserves. In 2017, 67.8 trillion cubic meters of natural gas were produced there. Egyptian authorities claim that up to this point in 2022, Egypt has been exporting gas to Europe for $600 million per month. They expect that to increase to $1 billion the following year. The fact that the brightness of public lighting has decreased this year emphasizes the government's need to boost export. With its plentiful natural gas reserves, Egypt wants to reap the greatest financial rewards. Additionally, the nation of North Africa hopes that increasing its exploration activities will help it increase its pitifully little foreign exchange reserves. To accomplish this goal, they also intend to build liquefaction facilities, increase exports, build new partnerships, and reduce domestic electricity consumption. The amount of natural and liquefied gas exported by the government in the fiscal year that ends on June 30, exports in the years 2013 to 2014 were worth $600 million, according to official statistics. Egypt had to import natural gas from abroad between 2015 and 2017 because domestic demand was higher than supply. But that was prior to the discovery of Zohar and the start of production. The largest field in the eastern Mediterranean, 
Zoar, is believed to contain 850 BCM of gas, according to an estimate made by ANI in August 2015. And as a result, local governments began to compete with one another for control of the region's gas reserves. Egypt began exporting once more in September 2018. Additionally, three oil and gas discoveries made by ANI in 2021 in the western part of Egypt may contain up to 50 million barrels of oil equivalent. Several discoveries, including oil, gas, and condensate deposits, were made in the previous year at the Emleha Development Concession in the Western Desert region. Condensate, a valuable byproduct of natural gas production, is produced. Furthermore, the most recent discoveries are related to regions where earlier well testing indicated steady oil flows of up to 2,500 barrels per day. Egypt presents gas as the best option for sustainability. In actuality, at the most recent COP27 climate conference, Egypt and 16 other gas-exporting nations praised fossil fuels as the right solution to tackling climate change and achieving energy independence. During a gathering of the gas-exporting countries forum in Cairo in October, Egypt's oil minister, Terkel Mala asserted that natural gas is the cleanest fossil fuel of any type of hydrocarbon. He stated that, because natural gas is regarded as the best option, it will continue to play a significant role in the mix of future energy sources. The International Energy Agency advises against the development of any new gas fields if the world is to stay below the 1.5 degrees Celsius global warming threshold. And a week later, it published its yearly World Energy Outlook which projected a 97% drop in gas consumption in the electrical grid between 2021 and 2040. There were 17 ministers and government representatives in attendance, and they all concurred that COP27 and COP28 give a fantastic chance to build a case for gas in the energy transition. COP28 will be held in the United Arab Emirates, as opposed to COP27, which was held in Egypt. Members of both nations are present at the forum. Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, the president of Egypt, delivered a speech during the gathering. According to statements made public by the Egyptian government, Sisi emphasized the importance of utilizing natural gas to ensure fair conveyance of energy. According to Sameh Shaukri, president of COP27, gas is a transitory source of energy. A similar divisive statement was also made in February by the European Commission. Burning gas results in slightly more than half the amount of climate pollution that coal does. On the other hand, methane venting and leaks from gas infrastructure can cause serious environmental harm. Online resources for the Egyptian government's COP27 gas promotion initiatives include the statement. Egypt also offered sustainable mobility for COP27 delegates by supplying 260 electric and natural gas buses. The website claims that rather than concentrating on achieving a zero-carbon economy, the COP27 decarbonization day will instead emphasize shifting towards a low-carbon economy. So, what do you think of Egypt's new gas field discovery, and do you agree with its position on using fossil fuels for sustainability? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.